Um, the Dice Silverline does allow you to also um, um, browse by artist and album. Um, in, in my opinion, the Dice did a, a, a poor implementation of this feature. And it's it's much more sensible to have the buttons directly linked to, to playlists the way that the, the USA spec has done done it. Like the dice, the USA spec jumps between songs by tapping the forward and reverse button on the head unit or the steering wheel. I press once, one song, two, two songs. With the uh, USA spec, you can actually go faster. It's, it's a true tracking. With the dice silver line, you have to pause a couple seconds in between each song. So this is, this is nicer for jumping around in long songs. Um, the dice silver line, you can fast forward and rewind in, within the song. With the USA spec, you can't. If you push and hold the rewind button, you'll actually jump 10 songs. Hold it longer, jump another 10. So, it's it's a neat feature that Dice Silverline doesn't have. Um, I like it. It's nice. It's a nice way to navigate within a long playlist. USA spec does properly implement the random function. Um, if you are a Dice Silverline user, you will know that hitting the random button often sets the song repeat to equal to one. Um, in that mode, the iPod will continuously play the same song over and over again. You have to disconnect the iPod, change the settings, and then reconnect the iPod in order to exit out of that mode. The um, the USA spec implements, again, random properly. I'm in random mode now. I can move out of random mode, and it will show me what the, the song, in, in the, the correct song track number within the playlist. Go back into random mode. Bounce around again. Out of random mode. So it's really bouncing around the playlist. As it's as it's uh, supposed to do. Sound quality is better with the with the USA spec. When I um, first installed the dice, I had less bass when playing from the I music from the iPod than I did when listening to the to the CD or the radio. I assumed it was caused by the iPod. Now that I have the dice installed. I know that the the bass issue was was actually being uh, robbed out of the out of the audio from the dice overline itself. With the USA spec installed, the bass is back, and I'm getting CD quality um, audio. The USA spec installs physically the same way as the dice. It ships with a 15 foot cable that attaches to the 3 pin and the 6 pin CD changer connections in the trunk. The intent is that the wires be snaked through the car up to the dashboard of the glove compartment area. I have my iPod in the center console rear uh, ashtray compartment since that's where I had my dice installed originally. Um, now that I see that, that uh, the, the USA spec works so well, I could have mounted the whole thing in the trunk and it could have been, you know, a, a 20 minute install, really. So again, he remembered that the last song I listened to in Playlist 4 was number 2. Bounce very quickly around. I really like the feature that it bounce to Especially if you have favorite songs, you know what number they are in your playlist. It's, it makes it easy to, to bounce around. So, in summary, in in the three months that I've had the the USA spec in my car, um, I've never had to turn the radio off and back on to get the music to play or the text to display properly. Um, the text has never become stuck. 
I've never had to press, um, touch the iPod at all to wake it up. Um, I've, I've never had to perform a battery reset procedure. Even join installation, uh, there, there was nothing fancy about the installation. Um, I've never had um, interference or any other noise come across the speakers. I've never had the, the random button enable the repeat function on the iPod. Um, I've never had the music stop playing. It's, it's, a, it's a product done right. I feel like you know it, it's it's comparable to the BMW now. I've got a, a piece of audio equipment in my car that performs the way it should. Um, I purchased the USA Spec PA12 BMW from AudioSavings.com. Um, I paid $125 for it US. Um, I live in Canada. They didn't have any problems shipping it to Canada. So. If I haven't answered all of the questions um, that you might have, uh, I am on e46fanatics.com and my username is steve.325i.